everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Catherine again. When we moved into this house, we got everything brand new, including this amazing fridge. After a year of usage, even though we're not dirty people, the fridge has started to have stains from groceries, etc. So for this week, I've taken the time to do a deep cleaning of this fridge inside out. Before you start the cleaning, make sure you have a large and empty surface to store all the groceries and fridge components. Then take everything out and put them on the worktop. I started with cleaning the freezer because there are less components in there so I could get it done quicker. It's always nice to start with something easier, isn't it? In my previous video, I've mentioned that my husband and I do not like stocking up frozen food at all because we prefer cooking with fresh ingredients. Even though we're not a fan of frozen food, look, I'm just surprised by the amount of food we have in the freezer. Cleaning also helps me remind myself what kind of food we have and not waste any if we can. We have a French style four door fridge. By the way, if you want to know the details of our kitchen layout and the appliance reference, please click on the videos on the top right hand corner. The freezer compartment is composed of two big drawers and a narrow but very long door basket. Washing these large components can be a pain with your kitchen sink no matter how big your sink is. Therefore, I just take them out to our rear garden, put them on the patio and use our garden hose to rinse them when ready. Another advantage of cleaning these components outside of your house is you can spray the cleaning products freely without worrying too much about your furniture and interior decals. After applying the surface cleaner, I use a kitchen sponge to wipe off the food leftovers and then give them a shower with water. Don't forget the interior of the freezer after the drawers are out. Food can accumulate in there as well. You want to give it a spray and wipe off for a thorough cleaning. For cleaning the freezer, I don't want the process to be too long because the groceries will start to defrost. So I won't let the components to air dry. Instead, I wipe them off with a microfiber cloth and finish off with kitchen towels. By the way, I'm a mom of a five month old baby girl. People might be asking, where do you find the time to do all of this plus looking after a young baby? The answer is very simple. I don't have a lot of time, but I do know how to break up tasks. For example, this deep fridge cleaning, I will get it done in two days instead of in a consecutive three hours. Because as a mom, my days are segmented by feeding, changing, napping, and playing, I won't be able to find three consecutive hours. But what I can do is to break down the tasks to half an hour, an hour, and then things will be much easier. Comment below on how you manage your day as a mom and also let me know if you'd like to know more about how I can find time to do stuff. After they are all dried, replace them and quickly put the frozen food back to the freezer. Simple tip here, don't clean your freezer on a very hot day because groceries will melt a lot quicker. For ice creams, I kept them back in the freezer while cleaning the rest because these are easily melted and bacteria can grow in the melted ice cream and then stay there when they are frozen up later. So let's be careful with food safety. In the freezer, we keep our homemade beef stock. I portioned it accordingly, which can be very handy when cooking noodles. We also keep all kinds of meat in here. But each time before we dump the meat in the freezer, we would slice or dice the meat and portion it with food zip bags for the convenience. You can try to organize your groceries like I do and it can save you a lot of effort and money. First step is again take everything out. We could have way more groceries in the refrigerator than in the freezer if I had to take everything out right after we receive a grocery delivery. So to be more efficient, I chose to clean the refrigerator the day before we receive our grocery. When removing the shelves and baskets in the fridge, be very gentle because you don't want to break them by accident. The way I take out the door basket is always use one hand to hold it and then give it a sudden hit from the bottom with my other fist. It will then loose up the components and make it easier to remove. When dealing with glasses, pay extreme attention, especially if you have running toddlers around. 
After taking out all the shelves and basket, I then pop the groceries back in the fridge. The reason is again simple because I don't have the time to finish this task in one go, so I have to keep the groceries fresh while doing my other duties as a mom in the meanwhile. Because we use the refrigerator compartment very often, there are a lot more food leftovers such as onion skins, green leaves, cheese, or even some sauce accumulated in each component. To make sure I remove everything, besides the surface cleaner, I also put some baking soda on them. Then I'll leave them there to dissolve while I'm cleaning the interior of the fridge. My kitchen sink is very large, so I'm just gonna rinse off the solution and baking soda in the kitchen sink. Oops, the splash, oh my god. I took my words back. The kitchen sink is never large enough for giant components such as vegetable and fruit beans in the fridge. Let's just go out to the garden and wash them off there. I'm using kitchen towels to wipe off the water, but I will leave the components on the countertop to air dry. Since all the fresh ingredients are out, it is also a very good opportunity to check if we've got some groceries that have already passed their expiry dates, especially those in the jars which we don't consume them as often as vegetables and fruit. Because in our household, fresh ingredients are consumed within several days, so I don't want to over-organize my fridge. I only use two organizers in the fridge. One is this revolving plate which helps me to reach the jars at the back of the shelf. The other one is this type of holder where you can keep those tubed sauces off from the bottom of the basket, which makes it easier to locate them when you need to. For the exterior, we've got a water and ice dispenser here, so lime scale can be built up over time. I am applying some solution to remove the lime scale and wipe it off with a clean cloth. For the doors, again, I am spraying over the surface solution and then clean with a microfiber cloth. Ta-da! I don't know about you guys, but I feel I've just done a meditation after giving our fridge a deep clean. Look how clean it is. It is even cleaner than a brand new fridge. I think it can survive for another 6 to 12 months. Okay, that's everything I've done for the deep cleaning of our fridge. I hope you find my video inspiring and encouraging for your own household cleaning task. And if you do, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. In my channel, I talk about motherhood, house renovation, and the home organization, just like every other mom and housewife do on a regular basis. So if you don't want to miss out any of my future uploads, please consider to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell to get notified for my future videos. Okay, I'll see you guys next Friday at 7pm. Enjoy your weekend and bye bye for now.